So we have two ways that we can level a cake. The first way is going to be with this cake leveling mechanism which comes with a gauge on the side so you can gauge how thick you want your cake slices to be. And then you will just move this up and down to whatever length, width, sorry, you need it to be. So for this particular leveler, you're going to end up with each of these marks, starting from the bottom, being a half of a centimeter. So the nine, the eight, the seven, each of those are going to be a half a centimeter from the bottom of the foot. And I have mine set to a four. So I start by moving it very slowly across the cake. Make sure that you keep both feet on. Don't go too fast or you'll end up ripping your cake. And then, after it's done, you will have a nice flat top to your cake. Now, I want to split this into two even pieces. So, so I'm going to move that down to an eight. That's going to split this cake into two even pieces. So again, make sure you're really careful when you get to the edge because sometimes those edges can get a little bit crispy and that makes them a little bit easier to break. So there you have it. That is how you can separate and level your cake. Then the extra, just save that. You can make cake pops out of that later or you can just give it to anybody in your household who might enjoy some leftover cake. Now the second way that you can level a cake is with a regular knife if you don't have a cake leveler. So I don't really prefer this way because I am not very good at eyeballing this, but this is how you would do that with a regular knife. So to start this process, you're gonna go ahead and start by finding the most level part of your cake. Keep your hand on top of the cake. Don't let it slip down below or you run the risk of cutting yourself with your knife. So keep your hand and your palm up and out of the way. You want to practice safety always. See, missed a spot there. As you can see, I'm going to go right back in and just trim that off. Keep your fingers out of the way. This will cut nice and evenly. Okay, so now I'm going to eyeball. I'm going to try to find about what is halfway. So looking off to the side, keep this about halfway, keep your fingers out of the way. Spin your cake, do not put yourself in an awkward knife position. Okay, so I have mangled the inside of this just a little bit, but you're going to fill all that with buttercream and nobody's going to notice. You have one top side that is really nice and lovely to go at the top of your cake. And then you have your nice bottom part, which has baked up really nicely.